I want to talk about the ways that digital teaching and learning is so much different than teaching on campus or in brick and mortar. A couple reasons. Um, it's much more connected, so you can connect to others globally. You can connect through webinars. You can connect through discussion boards. You can connect through blogs. You can connect through social media. You can use any of or all of these things with an online class that just can't take place within the four walls of a brick and mortar setting of a classroom setting. I want to add a caveat that of course you can use digital learning in conjunction with brick and mortar, but when we think of pure on campus classes, we tend not to think too much about online. In online only classes, they're also focused more on students doing self directed learning. They're more autonomous in their learning. They're doing a lot on their own. It's also very multimodal with online. And this is what I love about it. You can use video. You can use podcasting or audio to learn. You can use a lot of visual images. You can redirect students to really high quality outside sources like museum websites free resources that they can gain access to that just go way above and beyond what I can bring into the classroom. Another thing that's really useful with online is it can be very mobile driven. So students can learn online. They can read on their mobile devices. They can use mobile devices to access the Blackboard shell. They can use mobile devices to create multimedia and to read multimedia. Online learning can be very data driven. We can use things like predictive analytics to see how students are using the online course shell. We can use predictive analytics potentially to see how students are using online resources. Online learning can potentially be very dialogic. So students can use online discussion forums to talk to one another. They need a lot of support and encouragement in this so that it's not just perfunctory, right? We don't want dialogue to just be going through the motions. But online learning can potentially be a, a way for students to talk who normally don't talk in brick and mortar settings. Online learning can be very wired. One can feel like a cyborg with literally like headset wires wires going into your computer. It can be very cyborg-like. Um, people just see this much of you, right? Like you're seeing me now in a very limited way. Um, so in a way, you know, you become that cyborg, cyber professor or cyber student. Finally, online learning can be somewhat marginalized. We're still kind of fighting for legitimacy in terms of being seen as real learning. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to point out a few ways that I see that online learning is quite different from brick and mortar teaching.